Here's a quick video on how to ensure that you're getting your data logged to be able to export it uh, at the end of the year into various different platforms uh, that will manage your data and your as applied layers. So the important thing to put on is the per point data logging in your X30 or X35 monitor with the latest software versions. So you can find the latest ones online. But where you go to enable this is under your wrench, go to systems, features, console, and there's an option here that says per point data. What you wanna do is enable this. So this is gonna take down more detailed information on what is going where in all your as applied maps. And so when that happens, it records a lot more information. So it's very important to ensure that at the end of the year, once you get all your information off your monitors, that you delete uh, previous jobs. Um, so, your, so your monitor doesn't get too full or too backed up because if it does, it'll start to really lag. So it's important to collect that information, but also important to organize it. So once that's turned on and you have to have that turned on prior to starting seeding, if you don't say to record, it won't and you won't be able to utilize some of the features of, of the various uh, platforms afterwards. So now that it's turned on, you would go and seed your field. In this case, I'm just gonna go to a field that I have already done, and I'll show you now how to export out the information. So there's two ways to do this, uh, either using the quick start feature, which is, uh, you can set that up. There's another good video online on how to utilize the quick uh, start feature. But in this case here, I have a VR map and I seeded just a little bit. And now I'm saying I'm done with this field, I'm moving on to another one. So if you have the quick start enabled and you have a USB stick in your monitor, that's also very important to ensure you have a, a USB stick in your X30 or X35, you'd hit the quick start. On the different options within quick start, uh, the way you have it set up would be to have it export out uh, the data at the end of the, when you're done working on the field, and it'll give you options as far as what information to uh, send out to the USB stick. So lots of times there'll be some grayed off. What you wanna do is ensure that they're all green and just hit okay. The job will have exported, export complete. And then depending on how you have your quick start set up, it'll ask you for another field. Uh, and then maybe for another job is the way I have this one set up. So I'm just making some up as I go here. And you're off to the, your next field. It's also really handy if you have VR prescription maps and it'll, it'll automatically ask uh, for that files uh, from, the, from the quick start. But again, that's, there's another good video online where you can, they'll show you how to utilize your quick start. So that's one way to export the information onto your USB stick. The other way, uh, at the end of the year, when you bring your monitor into the house, let's say, and you wanna export all your jobs at once, where you're gonna go is to the inventory manager. So that's this button down here, the trash can pencil USB. You're gonna click on this, it'll open it up. Under categories, it'll have all your different information that's stored on the X30 or X35. What you're going to go to is jobs. Now, typically what would happen is, you know, you'd have one job per field, per farm, per client, and you'd have to export it going to each one. Well, if you want to export all at once, you're going to click on this top, uh, the hierarchy up here. So it's actually your clients. And instead of clicking anything else and going through it, like you normally would, you just stay clicked up on top, go to go to the magnifying glass. And what this is gonna do is search a time frame. So typically this is, it'll say day, month, year. So on or after, and I have here January 1st, 2020, until the end of 2021 here. Uh, so you'd have to type that in. So when you hit the check mark, what it's gonna do is pull up all the jobs that, are, that were done during that time frame. This is really handy. You can pick and choose the ones you want to export. Uh, if you want to highlight them all, click this button top right up here, highlight them all. With the USB stick in, you're going to click the, the send to USB, save the job, export job report, 
click check mark. What it's going to do is go through all the jobs you did all year and export them. So you can see the one that I had already exported. Do you want to overwrite it? I'll say no, because I did that during, during the time of seeding. Complete, it'll ask you for the different uh, information that you want. Again, highlight them all. Uh, just as a lot of these platforms use up, they'll use all this information. So you might as well just take it off of your console, hit the check mark, and it'll start to create these jobs, uh, start to create the, the information from the jobs, I should say, and export it to your USB stick. So in this case, I had a lot of demos. So this will just show all the ones that didn't complete. All the other ones are all on the, on the USB stick. And so that's how you ensure that you're getting the information from your Topcon X30 or X35 monitors, you're recording it, and then also how to export it uh, to be able to use this information on the various different platforms uh, afterwards.